well this project was uh, focused on uh, food waste valorization so when you say food waste it means that you know uh, it could be a byproduct of fruit itself it could be something that is coming as a waste during food processing so all those things are uh, there when you say food waste valorization particularly this project is focusing on cashew apple so this cashew apple is coming from a uh, cashew tree which actually produces cashew nuts now i'll i'll give you this example you see this this fruit you see this fruit this is actually a pseudo fruit cashew itself it's going to hang here at the bottom of it and that we pluck and we use it and we you know you can sell that in market at very high price current price of this cashew is very very high probably 1000 rupees per kg this particular thing this is pseudo fruit this is not uh, basically considered as a valuable product and this is just being thrown away in you know in, in uh, orchards itself but if you analyze the potential of this it's it has a great potential it has for example it has about 6 times vitamin c compared to orange so it has a lot of value it has polyphenols uh, which has very high antioxidant properties uh, which does not generate any value at this point so our idea was can we generate value from this waste and that can directly go to market in some form or other you can produce for example biofuels it could uh, be produced uh, uh, of course it has antioxidants it has free sugars available that free sugars can go directly into making bio based chemicals for example so there are many other opportunities that you can you know you can uh, exercise from this so that was the idea uh, one of the challenges that anybody would face while you know processing this is this is uh, this particular waste is very rich in sugars so what happens during uh, during collection when you want to collect this from any orchard cashew orchard you have to make sure that this is not mechanically damaged if it is mechanically damaged then the problem that you face is that it starts fermenting right away because it's rich in sugar yeast you know steeds uh, yeast sits on it and it start converting sugars into ethanol so that was first challenge procurement of these good ones from orchard itself once you bring it to the board once it is already there in the lab then the real uh, challenge was in analytical skills where you would like to see how much sugars polyphenols tannins and all those uh, things are there in addition there was also an issue with the processing itself this has very large tanning content so tannin is uh, is a type of polyphenol but the problem with tannin is that it gives you an astringency taste uh, you can think of an example uh, from let's say amla juice when you drink amla juice what sort of feeling you have it's astringent you will see some biting sensation in your throat right so this also has the same thing so our first objective would be how to reduce tannin content not completely remove it reduce is fine because let's say it has 200 mg per uh, 100 ml of uh, juice if you can remove let's say 50 60% of it that should be fine some portion of polyphenols in juice is always good so if you do that then that can, that can directly go into juice market as a whole you can't sell it you have to blend it with other juices so this is one product second is you can extract vitamin c ascorbic acid and make use of that polyphenols extraction can be done uh, after doing all that you are left with this you know uh, pomes pomes is basically once you've extracted the juice whatever waste is remaining in dried form that is pomes we have analyzed that too and if you look at the property of it it actually has very high fiber content digestible fiber content so that can also be utilized very well first we begin with uh, detailed proximate analysis we wanted to see what is there in this cashew apple people have done lot of work but you know as you change the variety of fruit everything changes so we want to fix some varieties and we want to understand from this but let's say this is yellow cashew apple coming from goa if you take one apple from ratnagiri vengurla area its physiochemical properties are going to be absolutely different so first we want to you know understand its physiochemical nature and for that you must adopt certain technology uh, in order to uh, to get those values so we are going for let's say for analytical we are hoping for uplc analysis gc analysis and all those uh, so after setting the stage we are going for a treatment process so we have decided we'll we'll do pre treatment of these cashew apples so that we can get away from these tannins once you remove the tannins then this is ready to go you can make any product which is free from astringency that will you know that will be really good so that was the second stage now third stage would be after removing astringency part third stage would be go for 
specific value added product that could be either juice blend of juice uh, prebiotic coming from fiber uh, this sugar converting into ethanol all those pathways will open after that we have done exhaustive field studies we have talked to more than 50 farmers in ratnagiri vengurla area so we have also conducted workshops where uh, tata uh, group was also food group was also involved not that tata, tata centers at iit bombay they were also involved in the process and we were also talking to uh, this krishi vishwavidyalaya in uh, ratnagiri area uh, they were also showed they were also quite keen in this uh, project and we wanted to try scale up uh, scenario in that particular facility because it logistically it makes sense we don't grow cashew apples in mumbai right these are very very in abundance in those areas so you can logistically you can collect them easily process them easily and you know do the needful so that's why we thought we will collaborate with the dapoli krishi vidyapeet and we can work together